A man says he was left with physical and mental scars after a traffic stop in 2020, just as COVID cases were starting to spike. He's now suing a state trooper in federal court after what he says felt like an assault captured on dash cam video. This is the same trooper who was nearly killed last December after crashing into a semi. Our Tara Morgan with an exclusive interview and what she's uncovered about the trooper's history with the state patrol. Aaron Wiseman on the hood of a state police cruiser pleading for more eyes on this traffic stop. What stands out the most to you? Just the, the excessive force and I mean in all honesty to me it felt like an assault on me. It was October of 2020, just seven months after Governor DeWine announced the first COVID cases in Ohio and when no vaccines were available. Trooper Jared Fitzpatrick pulls over Wiseman on I-70 East, just outside Columbus. I don't have a mask. Go down. Put the window down, I'm going to make the window open. You can see Wiseman is wearing a mask. He says he was diligent about it. I have a uh pretty bad asthma. I've been in the hospital multiple times with ammonias. Wiseman says he first asked Fitzpatrick to put on a mask right when he came to his passenger window and says he consistently kept asking, but Fitzpatrick never did. Thank you. License, registration, insurance, please. Trooper Fitzpatrick did not have to wear a mask as law enforcement was exempt under a state health order posted that July. Patrol strongly recommended masks during initial approach of traffic stops, but were optional. I was just shocked that someone could, when I have such respect for, you know, the job they do, that they, this person, this individual would have such disrespect or care for my health and safety and well-being, and it was upsetting. Along with trooper dash and back cam videos, ABC6 investigates obtained the administrative investigation of the stop by the Ohio Department of Public Safety, including Fitzpatrick's recorded interview with an investigator. When you were cuffing him, was there a lot of force involved when you put the cuffs on him? Anything a else? lot of force, I would say no. At one point when I went to place him in handcuffs, um, he naturally pulled away. I watched it once. I didn't, couldn't really watch it much afterwards. Fitzpatrick stopped Wiseman, he says, for violating the move over law when Wiseman passed a fellow trooper in the right lane during a traffic stop. You can see as I drive by in the video that there is a car next to me. I had no, I had no understanding of why I was being pulled over because I was not speeding. I was just on my way back from uh, work to go home. I was trying to get his information and I couldn't get to the point of trying to explain to him because of his arguing about me wearing a mask. Put it down! Get up! Get up! He had everything. We weren't in communication, so I pulled my window up because it was a breezy day, and he it was, <laughs> I mean, he wasn't wearing a mask. As soon as I put my window up, that's kind of where he, you know, uh, flipped the switch. Fitzpatrick says Wiseman initially only gave his registration and couldn't hear him with the wind, traffic noise, and window up. Get out of the car, or I'm breaking your window, and I'm getting you out. Wiseman steps out with his hands up. Fitzpatrick takes Wiseman's cell phone and then cuffs him. For what? Put your hands on the Put your hands on the Please see your supervisor here. At least three times, Wiseman expresses his fear of catching COVID. I don't want coronavirus, I man. That. I understand that. But when I ask you to step out, you step out, period. The second trooper fixes Wiseman's mask that slipped below his nose. He was actually great and I think was part of the reason why who knows what would have happened if this guy didn't come over. Fitzpatrick later tells Wiseman he tested twice for COVID with negative results and disinfects his cruiser every day. Did that provide any sort of comfort at all to you that he said that or what's your take on that? Zero. If, if he if he's getting tests and doing all that, why I don't understand why he couldn't just put on a mask and <laughs> in the first place. He's afraid of the virus, but also I think at a certain point he became afraid of the officer himself. John Bond is Wiseman's attorney. An officer who rather than de-escalate the situation, escalates, escalates, escalates at every turn. In July 2021, Wiseman filed a lawsuit against Fitzpatrick in federal court. I think the key takeaway here isn't just that he refused to put on a mask, but it's the broader picture, which is 
the force that he applied to Aaron Weissman was totally unwarranted and, and totally excessive. This has absolutely nothing to do with, you know, police in general. I thoroughly respect them and appreciate all that they do for us and to make our community safe. Trooper Fitzpatrick made headlines more than a year after the incident with Wiseman when he crashed his cruiser into the back of a semi. The crash sent him to the hospital in serious condition. Fitzpatrick was given a citation and is expected back at work this month. I do think the accident kind of adds to a picture that's being painted and with the personnel file, the dash cam footage of what happened with Aaron Weissman and the accident, I think that picture is of an officer who struggles to control his temperament. ABC6 investigates obtain Fitzpatrick's personnel file. In just under four years on the job, Fitzpatrick received one written reprimand, two suspensions, and issued informal counseling. The Wiseman stop was part of a five-day suspension in January 2021. Records show it was combined with two other incidents involving Fitzpatrick, including recklessly driving to a deadly crash at speeds nearing 145 miles per hour in September 2020 and using improper techniques during a pursuit and crash that August. One month before the Wiseman stop, Fitzpatrick got a one-day suspension for taunting and using profanity with a suspect who slipped out of his cuffs twice in May of that year. His lieutenant said then our biggest concern was just Fitzpatrick's attitude and his language. Why you want to tell your story? Because I feel as if I was wronged by an individual uh, and what happened. And I uh, want to hopefully... I don't want it to happen to someone else. Two weeks after the Wiseman stop, Fitzpatrick went through nearly eight hours of individual training, including use of force, de-escalation, and professionalism. Records show Fitzpatrick seemed distracted during the first hour of training. Fitzpatrick noted he was worried about getting terminated and mentioned it seemed his command presence is taken the wrong way. His trainer felt Fitzpatrick could have compromised from the beginning by returning to his cruiser and putting on a mask. Fitzpatrick admitted his interactions were inappropriate and his emotions influenced his judgment. I think that Trooper Fitzpatrick lost control. In the administrative investigation, his supervisor said his only concern was why would Fitzpatrick order Wiseman out of his car when he already had his registration and license. You could have went back to the patrol car and retrieved the mask? I could have, yes. Is there a reason you didn't? Um, there's officer safety if I walk up to the car and then immediately turn my back to walk back to my car because he states me to do so. I had a dislocated rib and um, I still have the scar. It's over a year and a half later and I still have a scar on my wrist for where he put the handcuffs on my wrist for bleeding. The investigator asked Fitzpatrick about Wiseman's injuries to his wrist, rib and counseling for PTSD. Fitzpatrick said he did not believe he assaulted Wiseman. All of those injuries I have no idea about. Um, the cuffs weren't tight. The ticket Wiseman got was later dismissed. He's now in therapy, he says, working through the traumatic experience. In the midst of the pandemic, I was feel proud for sticking up for myself to protect my health. So I, I don't think, uh, you know, be myself up on what could have been done differently. Ohio State Highway Patrol says due to pending litigation, it has no further comment. Fitzpatrick is being represented by lawyers with the AG's office. It declined an interview on the trooper's behalf and any comment. Wiseman has moved out of state for a job opportunity and a fresh start. For On Your Side Investigates, Tara Morgan, ABC6 News. <laughs>